Thinks It Bright. I'm Rick. I'm Roberta. And I have a question right off the bat for you. Mm -hmm. Would you rather me take out over total control of this thing, or would you rather you take over total control? It depends on my mood. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much what we're doing uh -huh. this episode. We decided, uh, we got a lot of really good feedback with the last episode with the, the jelly beans. God, that was so gross. And we were going to do like an informative episode, kind of like we normally do, but we figured we'd do another game episode with, with the both of us just uh, kind of... Having fun. Yeah. So we figured we would do the game, <laughs> Would You Rather? And we picked I mean, up, who hasn't played that? I know, right? It's it's all it's just fun. I mean, I, I've been doing it since I was a kid. I used to do that actually. with my dad all the time. We would go, "Would you rather drink this or have a million dollars or something?" Yeah. And of course, we you know we edited down some of the really raunchy things, but uh, you know, <laughs> there's there's some good stuff in here. So so we're gonna we're Sorry. gonna go at it and. Uh, We'll see what we got. So do you want it, ladies, first? I mean, we're just going to pick out of this bin of stuff that we, we conjured. Well, no, we looked some of these things up online because there's so many different things that you can do. But these are, like, actually great. Like, if you you want ideas, like, you can just totally surf the net and, like, yeah. the net. Oh my God, this shows my, that wow. shows my age. So what, what everybody should do after you watch this episode is you should comment and you should, you should put your own would you rather in the thing. We'll respond. Yeah, that would be fun. All right, ready? Yeah. Would you rather drink one gallon of ketchup or one gallon of mustard? Oh, you're the foodie. I would do ketchup because I think it's not as acidic as mustard. Um, it's tomato based and I love tomatoes, so. Um, I, I, I mean, would you just drink it? Could you eat stuff like well, you, while you're drinking I mean, it, you, right? I guess you're talking like a 16, is it the One same? gallon. One gallon? Yeah. Ooh. That's a lot. That's, That's like a, a lot. whole thing of milk. I mean, I would have to go, I mean, I love tomatoes, but I have to go with mustard on this one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because I it's did, so I did a condiment though. challenge where I had to drink a 16 ounce glass of condiments. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what actually got me nauseous was the ketchup. Really? And I love ketchup, but I, I have to go with yeah, mustard. Yeah, but it's like, think about it, I think. It's like you're drinking, like, tomato juice. I guess it depends on the mustard. I mean, to you know? me, personally, I think I, because it's like, I don't really like tomato juice. Um, but I love, it's weird. I don't like chunky tomatoes, but I love, like, tomato sauce and marinara mm -hmm. and all that. Like, I love all that. But chunky tomatoes still, until this day, I still have a hard time with, like, texture sometimes. It's weird. Hmm. But, like, I don't like tomato juice. Interesting. Uh, weird, okay. right? Oh, yeah, that counts. So, so I'm going to pick the next one. Okay. All right. Oh, goodness. Would you rather never use the internet again or never watch TV again? So this is my thing with that. Is if I don't watch TV ever again, I can still find everything out on the internet. Right? Stupid question. That is. That doesn't it's, make it's kind of. I think that's a dated one. I don't I know how so recent too. that one was. Yeah. It's pretty dated. I mean, you can watch anything. Anything. So go ahead. You you got that. I I picked okay. the stupid one. Would you rather be able to whisper or only be able to shout? Only be able to whisper or only be able to shout. <laughs> I don't know about wow. that one. I mean... See, my problem is that when I go out to events and stuff, <laughs> you can't sit there and whisper, but you don't want to sound like the crazy person, like, shouting. Yeah. Right? Oh, we got to pick one. That's a tough one. I think I would whisper. I think I would rather... Oh, me, though? You whispering? I'm not buying it. See? Maybe because I speak so loud to begin with. I think I would like to whisper. I think, you know what? I think I'd want to whisper. You know why? Because I wouldn't come off as obnoxious. Right. If, you, if you're yelling, you're coming off as obnoxious. <laughs> Look at me. I'm like, at right least, yelling. At least if you're if you're whispering, you can kind of play it off. So like, what do you oh, say? I, come off some, obnoxious because I, I shout a lot? <laughs> you know. I mean, I wasn't saying that, but, uh, you know. <laughs> That's not nice. I didn't say anything. Never. Um, 
yeah, I think you could play off the whole whispering thing as a, oh, I've got a throat infection or something like that, you know? I think that, I think that, that one's kind of a... I don't know, I'm so loud to begin know. with, so... All right, ready? Would you rather end hunger or end hatred? I think I would rather end hatred because I feel if we end hatred we could come together as one and help find a way to end hunger. Oh, that's so nice of you. It's I'm actually serious. really smart. It's really smart. Yeah. Um, I, I agree with you, although at the same time, I feel like I feel like there's just so many haters out there that even if you ended hatred, somebody would find something to hate about. But I'm I'm totally with you on your answer. I think I think ending hatred would actually Cut, help, right. yeah. help end hunger. Right. Yeah. We would come together and, and be able to work on that. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, you got it. Okay. Let's get a good one. Let's get a good one. <clears throat> oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, my God, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> got to do it. <laughs> would you rather have Cheeto dust fingers forever or taste buds on your rectum? <laughs> Wait, now I want you to read that again for the camera. <laughs> so would you rather <laughs> to have Cheeto fingers, like Cheeto like dust fingers, or which are horrible, have taste buds in your rectum? Oh wow. I don't know I can I don't know if I can actually answer this because because Oh Cheeto dust, it's like it's like when you eat Doritos. So would you like sit there and just lick your fingers the whole time? No, like for the rest of your life? You could never get it off. It would just be like that that annoying But what if cape. you put gloves on? Like you just walked around with like You're just gonna gloves. walk around like a creeper with gloves? Yeah, because I don't wanna taste something that comes out of a rectum. <laughs> Neither do I, but so your rectum would have it's a bad. mouth? Is that what they're saying? Like a, no, like a no, taste bud? No, no, no. It's just that any time bud. you would constantly right. taste your... No. <laughs> I would wear like latex gloves for the rest of my life. I can't believe we're discussing this. I can't. It's disgusting. I, I mean, Cheeto, but Cheeto, you don't understand. Cheeto fingers are bad. Like Doritos. You eat Doritos and that powder's stuck on your fingers. I mean they're delicious chips. But I feel as though it's just from the well, last I don't know I can answer that. the last episode that we did in this episode, my face is constantly disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean I gotta go I gotta I gotta go with the powder on this one. I don't think I'd ever wanna taste anything coming out of my rectum. <laughs> I mean I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, oh unless it's Taco Tuesday, then. <laughs> so, would you rather have five hundred tarantulas in your house or a thousand crickets in your room? <sighs> How big of a room are we talking? I don't know. I can answer this. Well, you hate spiders. I hate spiders, no matter what. I hate spiders. That I was cutting the lawn the other day, and there was this giant one in the lawn, and I almost screamed well, there was like like a twelve year old girl. girl. Yeah. Um, I've eaten crickets when I was on Fear Factor. So yeah, but crickets I, I feel like are so small that they, they could get like in the crawl places. into yes. your but ears. They're in a room. They're in a room. You quarantine that room. That's fine. You're talking five hundred tarantulas in your house. You can't quarantine that. Nope. I'm going with the crickets. Go with the crickets in the room. I don't know. I think I would do tarantulas. Stop it. You, well, you're a whack job anyway. You People in Brazil, you have these, these little banana trees. They're the banana with, trees. Yeah, I know. Tarantulas don't on. bother you if you don't bother them. They actually will eat insects that are in your house, like spiders. Yeah, they're creepy, but they're I, not no. bothering no. you. No. But, like, crickets, no. like, are all up in your thing and making noise. Oh, I like, don't care. I don't care. I quarantine no. them. There's no way there's spiders. I'm not picking spiders over uh -uh. crickets. Ever. I can eat the crickets. All right, ready? Yep. Would you rather be buried alive or stranded at sea? Mm. I think this is the most difficult question for myself. Mm. Um, because first off, I remember as a little girl, my grandmother would always say, never trust the ocean. Like, never put your back 
like towards the ocean because the ocean is deceiving. Like it will always hit you with a wave or whatever. Like you don't know what the ocean can do. And I'm just like scared of sharks and like being like drown like drowning and like that's awful. And I'm also claustrophobic. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know with this one. I'll I, tell you what. I, I think I actually would be stranded at sea. I think... As I, much as I'm scared of sharks and drowning, I think I would just float and... Oh, I don't know. See, I'm really torn because <sighs> because part of me thinks that, like, I'm a really good swimmer. It's actually right? making me like... Ooh. I know. I'm a really good swimmer, but I hate the fact that there's sharks and stuff out there. But at the same time, like, somebody might come and pick you up. Okay. I mean, people have survived. Right. Right. And and maybe at some point, you know, but then what happens? Do you lose a leg and you get partially eaten by creatures? I don't know. From a sh- They're going to take you under and you're done. Like, you're it, not living. But if you're buried alive, right? And say, I mean, it doesn't specify. So I'm assuming you're buried alive in a casket, right? You're, oh, God, that even makes it. But listen, <sighs> listen, your worse. oxygen runs out in there, right? And you, you just pass, pass out. out. You go to sleep and you never wake up. But what if it's just you being thrown on the ground and like dirt put on top of you? Mm. I think I, I don't. Like I don't that think one that's the case. I think I think it's with a casket. I think it's got to be with a casket because I, I mean I'm assuming that's what it is because it, there's a big different thing with it's they're not saying you're being thrown into the ocean. <laughs> okay, they're saying you're stranded at sea, which means you probably have something to float with or on. Well, people have survived even without that. Right. Like, you just, like, lay. Like, you uh, just float. I mean... <sighs> You're not going to sink, right? You I'm not float. I'm not the type of person right? to give up. Am I I'm right? Not... Do you float? Like, if you just well, lay? Yeah, float. Yeah, for a certain... Yeah. But, like, what if you dot? Like, do you sink? Well, if you get filled with water, yeah. But I'm, I'm just logically thinking about it. I mean, your chances of surviving being stranded at sea... Are very slim. So, I mean, I would rather just be able to lay in there and go to sleep and not have to worry about it. I'm claustrophobic too, but, you know. No, I'm really claustrophobic. Is it my turn or your turn? Your turn. Okay. That's a pretty hard one. That is. Would you rather be invisible or be able to read minds? Read minds. Because, okay, so this is my thing. I always said I wanted to be invisible because then you can go into like any room or like any kind of conversation mm-hmm. or anything. But if you can read minds, you don't you don't need to be invisible because you're actually already reading what the person's already saying or thinking. Look, Do you know I, what I'm saying? I, well, I, I and I, and if you were invisible and you were in a room and people were saying things, they could be lying. But if you're reading a person's mind, you know that they're about to lie. You know exactly. Or if they're telling yeah. the truth. Um, I just saying, I, I'm totally with you. I, I've never had the desire to be invisible. I've always been a person that believes knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. So like, if you know what everybody else is around, around you is right. thinking, why do you need to, you're the smartest person in the room. Right. Like I, there's no contest. Right. I'm totally with you on okay. that. Okay. I really don't want to get another dirty one. I do. No. I do. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, read I it. can't believe I have to read, read it. this. Yes, yes, read it. <laughs> I can't believe these, I have to. Read we didn't this. write these, by the way. This is just part of the game. <laughs> say it with a straight face. Go ahead, say it into the camera. Write it. Look into that camera while you're saying it. Say it seductively. <laughs> I can't say it seductively. <laughs> Would you rather have balls hanging from your chin or a five-inch tail that wags when you get excited? So we're talking surgically attached or you were born that way. So there's always balls hanging from my chin, kind of like Hugh Jackman in that that movie we watched. Yes. Or uh, a five-inch tail wagging every time you get excited. I gotta go with the tail. I mean, I think I would go with the tail you, too. You can hide the tail. Five tape. inches though. Tape. Hey, I mean it's 2017. People are taping things down there all the time. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say you can tape the tail 
<laughs> and you can't get rid of this. Yeah, but if it gets excited, it needs to wag. Well, so then what? I don't want to look like a freaking rooster. No, but what do you do? Okay, I'm totally, I'm totally with you. I want a tail too. No, you so, want a tail. Wow. But what do you do? Like you, when it gets excited, if you have it taped. Look. I'm just I, bringing I, up a good a good argument here. What do you do? Well, it wags, but you surgically get either removed, right? Well, no, it's telling you, would you rather? But you could surgically get them removed. They have the capability of removing these. I don't want a scar here. I would rather have a scar on the back of my ass. Just saying. No contest. Taking a tail. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God you have to read something. Would you rather smell like a fart for the rest of your life <laughs> or... <laughs> Or drink <laughs> a diarrhea milkshake. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, but it's telling you have to drink, like, what, one diarrhea milkshake? Milkshake. you got to figure it's probably a large milkshake. I mean, it doesn't matter. It could be a... Could, this oh, right, is medium, but just right? once, right? Just once? Yeah. But you have to smell like a fart for the rest of your life. Fart for the rest of your life or drink a diarrhea milkshake. I actually personally think, but first off, if you drink a diarrhea no, milkshake, you'll no, probably die. Like really bad. Yeah, but when you yeah. die, right? right? Go with the but, fart. But, okay, so oh, hold on. Let me give my explanation. I think I would drink the diarrhea because then right afterwards I could just get my stomach pumped and get it out and then I won't smell anymore. It's the it's the process of getting it down. Just close your nose and drink it. No, I can't. I have a really bad gag reflex. You guys yeah. saw me in the in the jelly bean episode. No, but Liz, like I couldn't even eat the jelly no, beans. No, but if you close your, your nose, if you close your nose and you just drink it down really fast, mm -hmm. get the ambulance, like have a doctor or ambulance stand by, and then just go to the hospital, get pumped, and then you're good to go. You don't have I'm to smell like saying that I shit want to smell, for the rest of your life. I don't want to smell like shit the rest of my life, but I'm just saying. I don't, I don't think I could actually drink it without really... So you want to smell like poop? <laughs> I mean, no, <laughs> but, <laughs> but what are you going to do? I can't, I can't drink. I have to go with the smell. You need I have to find to, a to way to drink it. Europe. I, just, I can't do it. I could never do that. No. God, what is up with the poop? <laughs> I don't know. This is this game. I don't... Would you rather... Eat chocolate flavored poop or poop flavored chocolate. <laughs> I think I would do poop flavored chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just. I mean, I don't know. We did the jelly beans that had all those disgusting flavors, so I would do that. I mean, is it crunchy? Like, is there corn in there? <laughs> like, I mean, this, these are questions. Oh my god! <laughs> ew. <laughs> no, I'm going with the uh, corn. I'm going with yours. Corn. <laughs> I'm going with yours on that. No need to say any more. Would you rather eat poison ivy or a handful of bumblebees? I've never had poison ivy, so I don't know how bad that hurts. Um, are the bumblebees like dead? They're right? bumblebees. They uh, it doesn't say dead. It doesn't say. But regardless, even if they're dead, they still have their stingers, right? Assuming right? they haven't all stung something. So a handful of bumblebees, alive or dead. <sighs> Or poison ivy. Now I, I don't know the side effects of each. So. Uh, okay. Well, I had a guy that I used to work with when I was in my teens, and he threw poison ivy into a wood chipper, and he ended up with it in his lungs, and he had to be on all kinds of steroids and everything. Which I'm sure that would probably happen if you had bumblebees too, because it's probably allergic stinging rea you. reactions all the time. Right. right. So mm. I mean, you get to the point where you can't breathe either way. Uh, I will answer. I think I would do poison ivy, and the only reason I'm saying that is because if you go to the bathroom, you don't want, like, stingers to come out of your butt. <laughs> that's what you think about? I don't know. Would the stingers, like, do the, they, do that's, they... That's the do, worst of your words? No, but do they, like... Oh, you're saying, like, it, it ends up... St Getting in your intestine and everything right. like that. Right. Like, does it... Wow, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Like, I does mean, it... 
what is it, disintegrate? Like, does the dissolve? Stinger? You yeah. would think that it. You would think that your that your digestive system would, would break it. But down. will it? I don't know. I don't know what that's made of. I mean, this is see, knowledge is power. We go back to that. I'm going with the poison ivy only because I am I immune. immune to poison ivy. I am unable to get it. Whatever. Which is fantastic because I'm able to. I've, since I was eight years old, I've been. I was ripping it out of gardens with my bare hands. Whoop de doo. Yeah, that I don't. I don't get it. Proved it to myself last year too. Would you rather forget who you are? Or who everyone else is. Mm. This is tough. Because this actually reminds me of like like grandparents that have like Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's. or like family members or I'm whatever. I'm writing a book about that. I I I, I don't know. Um That's a very I don't think I don't think you can answer that. I mean I don't want to forget everybody else, but I already forget people's names. Okay, like, it depends on my age. Okay, and of course I have kids, so I think I would rather, and this is awful to say, forget who I am, but remember everyone else, because the only reason why is because I have kids, so I want to be able to look at my kids and remember who my kids are, and I don't, whatever, my past is my past, and if I'm... Remembering you, maybe I can go on through the journey of. Okay, that that's actually a really smart answer. But let me let me add to that. Throw a okay. little wrench Throw in a there. Wrench in. Okay, so you remember everybody, but mm -hmm. you don't remember yourself. Mm -hmm. So what happens when your little kids come around the corner and go, "Mommy," and you don't remember that you're their mommy? Yeah, but if I remember that person saying... You, you know all about them and... Okay. But that's what... Do you know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? All right. Because that doesn't make sense, that question then. Like, uh, if you're kind yeah, of saying you know that. That's really, right? That's a really difficult Because line. if you think about it, like, break it down, I totally agree with you. Problem is... Because you if forget, you don't know who you are... If you forget who you are, there goes homemade delish. No more good food for your family. But for me, my importance is, is my kids. Yeah. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to forget my kids. Fair enough. You know? That's, I mean. And that's my notice priority. Notice how she doesn't mention anybody else. Just Knock it off. <laughs> so we're moving on. Stop it. Oh, how appropriate. Would you rather find true love or $10 million? Well, that's an easy question. I would rather find true love. Because for me, even though you have millions of dollars, you can't buy love. And you can't buy happiness. You um, may buy happiness for a minute or two, but it's not lasting. And this is no offense to any present company, but when I first met Roberta, I told her, look, my first love is music, which is not really my first love anymore. I mean, I love music, but I mean, I love writing. I, th I think it was the process of writing music. So I think I, think I would take the $10 million dollars. And, uh, you know, be able to buy true love with it. Are you trying to do a comeback just because of the latest one? Yep, absolutely. And it's working. So, it's your turn. <laughs> Whatever. We've got, we got a couple left. Would you rather eat 30 pounds of cheese in one sitting or a bucket of peanut butter without water? I'll do cheese any day, all day, oh every God. day. You imagine how much that would block you up? Shh. I don't care. I go with the. I mean, if we're to, we're, I want to know the salt content on both of these. Are we? Are we assuming that salt and fat and all that is not? We're not an issue? talking about the ingredients. Just talking about what now. you would do, right? Yes. We're not, okay. So health concerns aside, I'm going with the peanut butter. Do you know how much peanut butter that is? A bucket. You just said a bucket. A bucket. What is a bucket? I'm, is that, are we me, talking a five gallon me, like Home Depot bucket? To, yes, that's what I'm thinking. A bucket. I can I could eat that thing for ten days. It's not it's not it's the cheese is in one sitting, right? Cheese and, is one sitting. It doesn't but the say peanut one butter, sitting. I'm going with the peanut butter. But the peanut butter, I think it's the same thing because you can't drink I any can't, water. You can't eat anything else until you finish the peanut butter. Right. You can't drink water either. I don't think it's even humanly possible. But 
I, I love I don't cheese. Think it's human I love pasta. cheese. I will be blocked up for years, but I will. I eat love cheese. Peanut, I love cheese and peanut butter, but I'm going with the peanut butter. I'll eat cheese. Is it me or you? I don't know. We're already running on 25 minutes here. I gotta get this. Would you rather be rich and ugly or poor and good looking? Well, I'm already poor and good looking, so I mean, I'm gonna get out of there. Well, I'd rather be rich and ugly because if I'm rich, I can go and get plastic surgery. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're gonna look good. Have you seen some of the plastic surgery? So, they can, they can do something. Look, right? if you're ugly, you can't fix ugly. No, sometimes you can. You'd Just be surprised. Saying. You'd be surprised. A lot of people out there. I don't know. I get, yeah, I guess. Would you rather meet an alien visitor or travel to outer space? Oh, this is totally for me. Yes. I'm going with the alien visitor. How many people have been in outer space and we've heard nothing? NASA's hiding everything or this whatever. This is why I would want to visit outer space so I can see it for myself. Yeah, but you and don't. Be able, I would, look, I and would, then be able to see an alien there or be able to experience and see other things out but, there. If but, I see a visitor here, ooh, that was creepy. Did you see my phone just went off? Yeah. Weird. Um, it does not say. But if you see a visitor here, how do you know if it's a real alien? Well, I'm assuming you would know. How? You would you would meet. You might alien be an alien. Visitor. I could be. It's true. My birth certificate does not actually have. Although a you are jealous of it. my ear, so. I know. Um, I I I'm gonna go with meet an alien visitor. I, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. You show them your ear. You gotta show them the ear. Not at off. It's just a pointy ear. It's a pointy ear. Like my real dad. Was, Spock. was the guy in Lord of the Rings Legolas? No, my dad. My real dad, Spock. Yeah. Actually, my dad used to tell me that when I was little. Um, I, I came up with this one. Okay. Okay. Would you rather be tossed 80 million years into the past or 80 million years into the future? Mm -hmm. I would do future because I don't want to be get. I don't want to eat. I don't want to be eaten by a dinosaur. Okay. And it would be primitive 80 million years ago, right? How do you know anything even exists? I don't know. That's the, the risk future. you take. I'd rather do that than be eaten I mean, by what a freaking happens dinosaur. If you, but you get tossed 80 million years in the future and you're not in the exact spot you need to be and then you're in the vacuum of space. It's a risk I'm willing to take. I mean, yeah. I don't, I'm kind I mean, of curious. What? You go back 80 million, about... right? And, and you're there you're and there's dead. these freaking you're dinosaurs. No, but I'm saying, there's those dinosaurs. What do you do? Where do you hide? Oh, you survive. I mean, you I, will I be, could survive. You will get eaten like that. We don't even know if humans could digest dinosaurs. So you don't even know if you'd have anything to eat back then. So I'm going to go with the future because at least you go to the future. You, 80 million years from now, they probably have the capability of time travel. So I'm going to go with the future. You're going with what I said. Okay. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure you'd probably be dead. Last million question. Million oh, really? Okay. Would you rather, this is a really, really tough one. Host this show by yourself or with me? No. This is actually one of the toughest you questions. You should want to answer that one. Listen to me. This is a really, okay. really yes. tough question. Okay. Would you rather have a side of soup or a side of salad? <laughs> that. That. You can't tell you can't me answer that, that, that you have not been in a restaurant and you're like, ooh. In the winter, I'm going to go with soup. In right. the summer, I'm going to go with soup. Yeah, salad. but sometimes there have been summer months where I'm like, mm, I could go for like like a French onion soup. Yes. Yeah. I, wow. And it depends on what the main dish is, too. Right. Wow. All right. That was a good ender. That was. Nice. Well, we'd like to see what uh, you would rather do. Watch us or watch something more interesting. <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers.